This is Moon Base Alpha calling Earth. This is Moon Base Alpha calling Earth. This is Moon Base Alpha with our last transmission to the people of our home planet. We cannot know if you will receive this message, or if memory survives or even exists in your time of who we were, what our purpose was, and the disaster that took us on our random journey through the infinite reaches of space and time. We calculate it is some 20 years since we lost contact with you. For us, this has been a time of dangers overcome, knowledge revealed, of mysteries encountered, perceptions altered, and a growing conviction of a higher purpose in everything that we have witnessed and endured. These long years have stretched to the limit our will to survive as individuals and as a community, and overcoming our greatest test, the struggle to hold true to our unique birthright, the humanity that is common to all of us from Earth. That is the past. For now, a new and even greater challenge awaits us. For some time now, our life support systems have shown increasing decay. Total failure, though not imminent, seems inevitable. Last week, however, we encountered an intense gravitational disturbance which has catapulted our moon into this totally unknown solar system. Sensors indicate one planet is habitable, but it will only be in range for six short days. Insufficient time to calculate the long-term risks of leaving the base and settling there. So the painful collective decision was taken to abandon Alpha, one that was greatly disputed. As I speak now, Operation Exodus has taken place. Commander Koenig and the others have begun to settle on our new world, Terra Alpha. The final eagle waits for me, for I am the last person to abandon the base. Soon the planet will be out of range, and though predictions indicate a slingshot effect will return the moon to the planet in 25 years, we cannot be certain, nor can we base our actions on it occurring. However, one thing is certain. Moonbase Alpha is no more. For many of us, it was our most difficult decision. Though deserted and silent now, Alpha was our refuge. We can never forget our life here, the good and happy times, as well as our moments of despair and heartbreak. Here, friendships flourished, bonds were forged. It was Maya the Psychon who helped us to understand that we are all aliens until we get to know each other. The memory of what we shared here will forever remain part of the very fabric of this place. Our home, Alpha. I am making this transmission firstly to those of you who knew of our existence and wondered what became of us, and to enlighten those on an Earth who may have never known us. People of the same world who are strangers yet familiar to us through the mysterious effects of time and space. And finally, we want you all to know that we, the people of Moonbase Alpha, did exist. Our presence, the knowledge of Earth and her people, their strengths and weaknesses, pride and arrogance, genius and insignificance, has an imprint on this vast universe that we share with so many races and beings. And to state our belief that although our moon's progress was random, our odyssey does have a purpose, one still in the act of revealing itself. It is time for me to end this brief message and to face the uncertain life and great challenges on our new world. Computer's final task will be to encode this message using a device Maya designed. She believes that it will enable this transmission to navigate the complexities of time and space 
and reach you on Earth. To Professor Bergman, Michael, dear Paul, Luke and Anna on your new Arcadia. We will never forget you. And to Alpha, wherever you go on your onward journey, our hearts will go with you. And hope for reunion in the future will not fade. And finally, to you, the people of planet Earth, we say goodbye. And ask but one thing. Remember us. Remember us. <laughs>